Yep, turn the machines off just for this video. It's Sunday. It's raining. It's kind of a lazy day. I mean, it's never a lazy day, but it's kind of like one of them days that's laid back. Come over here and play in the lab a little bit. What up, you guys? What up? What up? What's going on, Dustin? What up, 216? So we got the Sound Digital. 12K still on the bench. And, um, well, I was going to film this video. I got my camera over here and actually did do some filming. The 12K is about to come off the bench. I have some other stuff I have to put here. But I realized that I did some testing and I showed you guys what I could as far as the power output. And uh, I didn't really hook it up to anything. Before I take it off the bench, I want to hook it up to some stuff. We'll do some... We'll do some serious flexing. I got this uh, this Pride subwoofer down here, this 15. I got a bunch of subwoofers back there. And uh, if you guys are having enough fun with this, I might even take requests and you can, we'll go to the boneyard and we'll grab a sub from over there and bring it over and hook it up. So um, yeah, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go live. In the video I talked about, I wanted to go live, but then I wanted the, the slow-mo out of it. And I can't do both because I'm on my phone right now. That camera does slow-mo. I think I just don't know how to do it yet. I know my iPhone does really good slow-mo. So that's why I was going to basically do a regular, um, a regular video and come home, go home and edit it and everything. But halfway through it, I'm like, nah, screw that. I'm going to go live and then I'll show you guys the slow-mo stuff afterwards. I'll post up a video may maybe a little bit later today and show you guys what it actually looks like flexing super hard. So we got this pride subwoofer sitting here. ST15, I think it is. Of course, we got some other stuff over here. We got some Scar Audio. We got a Sundown up there. Got my box. It's about ready to go in the Ford for the 4.8s. Two of the B2 Audio 8s that are going in it right down there. Uh, I got a ton of stuff that I want to show you guys coming up real soon. I got a bunch of audio control stuff. It just, uh, it's hard to find time to do what I want to do with the machines running constantly. Yeah, Pride Subs ain't no joke. But, hey, let me get some likes and I'll go ahead and turn this on. Actually, I'm going to do it without the likes, but I just thought I'd say that because that's the internet thing to say. Um, turn this power supply on. Turn this sound digital 12K on. And this thing's already hooked up. I disconnected the 81. So it's running straight from the amp through the SMD QR1, through the AMM1, though, so we'll be able to read it. Another thing. Here you go, KK. Another thing about this, just to let you know, this is a dual one. Uh, we got some Cindy Lauper playing in the background. I'm gonna turn that down before I get busted. Okay, uh, it's a dual one, so I don't want to show this amp a half an ohm. I don't know what'll happen. I don't want to damage it. I'm sure it'll go into protect, and uh, that'll be it. It should come back out of protect. I've seen it happen a few times while I was running it, so no big deal on that. Right now it's at two ohms, so you're not gonna see a, a full twelve thousand out of this at all. Um, it can test it, but uh, yeah, it's a Maybe we'll find something over there that does, that has one ohm when it's all finished. But yeah, this is in series. It's a dual one in series right now. So let's uh, turn this power supply on. It's gonna buzz a little bit. That's not the amp, that's the actual power supply. So if you don't know, I got a huge baloney cord going from this power supply over the wall over there. That's where I get the power for the power supply. It's 10,000 watts for that. We got the IMSG Plus, we got the AMM1. Another thing, for those of you that are waiting on the IMSG Plus, Monday we're supposed to be getting the parts to fix these. The SG Plus is amazing all by itself, but the overlay, I think I talked about it last video, the overlay they spelled impedance wrong on the front. Can't be having that. So, and this isn't just a sticker. This has integrated buttons, it's got a ribbon cable on it. It's a real pain in the ass when something like that happens. So I actually blacked out the impedance spelled wrong because, you know, it's kind of embarrassing, but at least none of them made it out into production or made it out to the people. They were produced. They never made it to the people. So Monday, if you ordered an IMSG Plus on pre-order from any dealer or from us, they should be trickling out next week. So sorry about the holdup. Um, anyway, we got this here. This head unit is only being used just to turn the app on because I'm feeding it with the IMSG. I got a little volume knob so I can control the output or the input actually. 
Um, we'll put this in real time power mode. Although I'm sure sitting out in the wide open, the impedance is gonna be a lot different than it would be inside of a box, but we'll do this anyways. All right, I wanna involve you guys just a little bit. We can take this all the way down to nine hertz, but let's not start at the very bottom. What frequency should I start first? We can, uh, you guys should see it's already moving. What are they saying, KK? Uh, nothing's what, yet. What frequency do you guys wanna see me do first? And I'm gonna lay it on it too. 29, 45. 29, 45. 52, 15, 35, 65. 215. No, 15, 15. Oh, no, 15. We, could, we could do 15, but we'll save that. We'll start working our way down. But <laughs> we could do 215. Here, watch this. Check this out. Bring it in, KK. I know 215 sounds ridiculous, but just to show you that, that we can. So we go from low to mid range. You guys want to hear what 215 hertz sounds like? There we go, just like that. It's a full range amplifier too, so it should play. Oops, why do I keep? Yeah, it's, uh, that's what 215 hertz sounds like. All right, so. Oh, you know what though? It's crossed over through here, so a lot of that is going to come through. Let's go down to, that's not gonna come through at all. We got some ping noise. There we go, with some low range. All right, what are we gonna go with, 45 first? Yeah, let's do 45. 45, all right, yeah. 45. See a lot of 25 too, so. You see a lot of 25? I do. Yeah. All right, we'll do a quick 45. It's not gonna, it's not gonna have super excursion, but 25 probably will. Okay, 45. So the new IMSG Plus is really easy to work. The other one was really sensitive. Uh, if you breathe on it, it would move a little bit, but now it's super smooth. So if you're one of the people that have one coming, you're going to really enjoy it, especially if you have the old one. Okay, so here we go. 45 hertz. At 4,600 watts. But the impedance is showing, you know, while it's moving, yeah, four ohms while it's moving. So 4,600 watts at four ohms is pretty much what's happening. Uh, when we lower the frequency, it's probably going to be less on here, and the impedance is going to change too. So what do we got next? We got, that was 45. That was kind of weak. I mean, probably really loud in a car though. But uh, as far as the, the woofers moving and this video, it's a little weak. So what do we, what do we got next? Let's go down the. 30, 34. 34, is that what someone's saying? Or you just do 35, doesn't matter. You know what? Should we take requests? <laughs> like real, a real request? <laughs> do I hear, <laughs> like a radio station. We got a request in for uh, 34 hertz here on K, K Win Radio. Okay, so. Shoot, I got half of mine to hook that Skeletor box up to shake the shit out of the shop when we're all done. <laughs> Are we getting some love for 34 hertz? Shout out to 34 hertz, you guys. <laughs> you got 34 hertz. All right, let's see what happens here. And I have this, I have it on this foam right here too, because anything else, it's rattling like crazy. I put it on a chair or a little table or something. This is really the only thing that stops it from rattling. Now, what do we got now? What are they asking for? 30. We're dropping down to 30? Oh, yeah. Look at this camera real quick. You can bring it into there I, for a second. Let me read these comments. Everyone's saying their own number. I'm trying to kind of go down the list a little bit. So we can't read these numbers because they're coming in super fast. So I'm going to do a custom number for the first person that donates 50 cents. Come on, do I see 50 cents? I don't need your 50 cents. I'm just trying to see if I can isolate one person's comment. There's another 30 hertz. 
There's a 50 cent the rapper. There's a 32. There's a 20. I'm gonna start net saying some names. Pablo 28. Oh shit, we got Pat V with two bucks. What's Pat V want? Hey Pat V, where are you at? I'm gonna do you a custom frequency. How do we read his comment? Yeah. He didn't comment there. Yeah, I don't think they're leaving uh We'll see now if you guys are gonna do that. Oh, there we go. Pitcher ahead wants to see 20 hertz for $1.99. All right, we'll do that. We'll do that. So I need you to keep track of this shit. Okay. Hey, $1.99 will get you whatever you <laughs> 20 hertz, you say? Let's go. I love it. Then, of course, we're going to go over there and we're going to have some fun with this on a rainy day. We'll find some different subwoofers. Hold on. Pat, Pat V, the first guy I donated, said. 28 hertz 28 yeah okay, we got to do him first and then we'll do petro at 20. Okay. so 28 28 hertz see that special request right there you got a five that um oh. a five came in it's a 20. okay hold on these these shut off after eight minutes to save your battery although like the sg plus is super super good on battery life compared to the older stuff but they still shut off after eight minutes because you do not want to kill your nine volt battery. I run rechargeables and I have a lot of them ready to go, but it still sucks to have to change those out. So he said 28, not 27.9. We got 28 over here, special request. You ready? This is just for you. Here we go. All right. Are you able to see any of that on the camera too? Does it yeah. look like it's flexing even though it's not slow? Uh, yeah. You ready, here we go, yeah. 28. here look at the way that that logo turns three-dimensional when I do that Pride audio let me tell you guys something about these pride subs I know that I like to abuse them I know I like to stand on them in my videos and turn it on they're like almost indestructible I mean you can break anything if you try but these subs man they're not only indestructible almost but they sound great I, I put those two 12s in that box I built a while back, and they're still riding around Anthony's Yukon, and when I get in that thing, I can't believe it's two 12s. And I mean, there's no endorsements here. I, I honestly, I own them. I've had the same ones for a long time. I've had this same one for a long time. So it's not like I got Pride Car Audio coming out of my ears. I truly think that it's a great subwoofer. And see this little flat side that it's got? It's not totally round. I think bringing your subwoofers as close as possible is always a good thing. I don't just think that, it's the truth. But these baskets make it possible. So, shout out to Pride Car Audio in Russia. They've always been a solid company and uh, these are nice subwoofers. I really want a second one though, so I can do something real cool. I don't really like the one sub thing. Um, the Tahoe might get four Pride Audio 18s in it, or maybe even 615s. I'm gonna do some big changes to that thing. Hopefully before the summer's over, after the Escalade, I want to pull that thing apart and redo some shit. So, anyways, uh, what do we got? 20 hertz for Petro? Uh, Petro and someone else said 20. Okay, here we go. We'll bring that down to 20. Now, keep in mind, this amp's capable of doing a lot more power than I can even make it do. Because I only have 10,000 watts. But the impedance while this is moving is everything. If it's in a box, it's going to act a lot different. Sitting out in the open, you look at 7.7 ohms, and this thing is getting up out of its own basket. I mean, if that was one ohm, it would probably be uh, pretty wild. So, anyways, here we go uh, 20 hertz. Ready? Yep. 3,400 watts, 4.3 ohms. <laughs> Look at that. I gotta get some more slow mo of that from the upper side. I got a bunch of it from the side view, but I need some from the top. Can you see that on camera at all? Yeah. Alright, so. Yeah. It's not cold, let me just tell you that. It's not blowing <laughs> hot, but it's not cold. I'm torturing it, so. Alright, what do we got? Any other requests, or should we like. Yeah. Oh uh, well, yeah, we're we're, we're, requests? we're getting requests. Okay, what, what do we got? What do we got? <laughs> you guys are funny. Hey, uh, we'll move on to some different subwoofers too. So, um, I mean, I'll I'll drag. 
I have some stuff over there we can bring over here. But um, what do you? What do we got? Give me a number, and then we'll we'll do the ones that already came through, and then we'll move on to something else. So we got forty-two hertz. Forty-two. Two dollar donation. Oh shit! Forty-two hertz. All right, here we go. Forty-two. It's not gonna look too crazy on here, like those. I mean, we can go all the way down to 9.2 hertz, you guys. That's as low as the IMSG goes, 9.2. So this guy wants 41. We'll do that real quick. Ready? Brandon Montoya. Brandon, what's up, Brandon? Hey, your two dollars gets you a frequency of your choice, and I say your name. So shout out to you, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Playing test tones for cash. All right, what do we got next? Anybody else? Justin Garcia with five dollars says. Justin Garcia. Fifteen hertz. Fifteen hertz for Justin Garcia. Hey, <laughs> break my subwoofer, man. <laughs> this thing came from Russia, man. I don't know how long it took to get here. All right, fifteen hertz. Let's go. There we go. 15 hertz, you see it right there. All right, here we go. All right, car audio, sound digital 12K. Of course, like I said, the impedance makes all the difference. So here we go, ready? Ready, here we go. 4,300 watts, four ohm. Oh, what do we do? Oh, the amp went into protect. <laughs> now here's the thing. Amps will go into protect. You're fucking around, you're getting things warm, you're doing things you ain't supposed to do, they will go into protect. All I ask from an amplifier is that you turn the fuck back on if you must go into protect. Nothing drives me more crazy than an amp that does not turn back on. So please, Sound Digital, just turn back on. Okay, it's off. I'll turn this volume down so it doesn't Okay. From the source, we got lights. We got a red light. Come on, yellow. Oh shit! It came back on. We're good. Let me take this little cover off so you can see. I got a little trim cover. All right, so the amp is back on. Is it playing? There we go. I mean, I know you guys agree with me. Things happen, but just don't break. I don't care if I paid 130 for you or if I paid 8,000 for you. Just don't break. So. Yeah, I can smell it. It's a little bit warm. Right, what do we got? We got anything else? Shout out for that 15 hertz. That was fun. You made the uh, amp going to protect. <laughs> I didn't like that too much, but... Anyways. Uh, we have a $5 donation from J. Will. He said 19. 19 hertz for five bucks? All right, let's go. <laughs> what's his name again? J. Will. J. Will. What's up, <clears throat> J. Will? Uh, shout out for that 19 hertz. We're just going to keep doing this. <laughs> we have to talk with the engineers and see if we can put real-time power a little bit closer to the beginning of the menu when you first turn it on so you don't got to do all that. So this one's probably going to turn off soon, too. Okay, so you said 19, right? Yep. All right, here we go, 19. Mine, the IMSG Plus is going to be out any day now. We already had these. We had a... A thousand of these showed up, and they're all hand tested before they go anywhere. And we noticed that they spelled impedance wrong. Super embarrassing, and it put a huge delay in our game. Nothing wrong with the unit, but you just can't spell it wrong. And uh, it's all being taken care of. And Monday, Monday, things are going to start happening. So apologize once again. So 19 for Jay. Put a little bit of volume into that. All right, here we go. Now the reason I'm hitting it and then letting it go is I'm not trying to warm the woofer up and break it. So I'm actually fluttering it a little bit. See. I mean, that thing looks like, that Pride logo looks like it's about four inches long when this starts going. There you go, man. 3,400 watts at like five volts. So there we go, there we go. All right, all right, all right. Shout out to Jay for that 19 hertz. 
What else do we got? We got anything else? Or do you guys want to move on to something else? Uh, that wire for that, um, for that Skeletor box is kind of long. Want to hook it up? Oh, you got one more. What do we got? From Jason. He says 9.2. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was waiting for the 9.2. Okay, now if this goes into protect, that's okay. It probably will, because that's pretty low. So let's bring this thing down to 9.2 hertz, and then we'll move on to the Skeletor box, and maybe we'll drag something else out of there. How are we doing? Anybody else still watching? Yeah. We got 641? Yeah. Nice. Okay, so look, 9.2 hertz. This is as low as this goes. So... It's not hot, it's not cold, it's right there. The amp's doing okay, the amp's not even warm at all though. Okay, so here we go. 9.2, what's the guy's name? Uh, Jason. Jason, shout out to Jason, your 9.2 fucking hertz. Look at that, this is just on low power. That's what 9.2 hertz looks like. <laughs> Just so you can see. That's 150 watts at 9.2 hertz. So, what do you say we turn that shit up? Yep. All right, here we go, ready? The app's probably gonna go into protect though, so don't hold it against anybody. As long as it comes out, we're happy, right? Oh, you can, did you hear the power supply buzzing when I hit it? <laughs> yeah. Thirty-two hundred watts at three ohms. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, cool. I knew I was pushing my luck. Yeah, I'm gonna protect again. How does that look on in regular speed? Is it cool? Yeah. I know slow motion. That thing is gonna be stretching like crazy. It looks way crazier in slow mo. All right, so this wire from the skeleton. Let's show them the skeleton. You guys remember this. This is actually going into KK's ride, but you know, I always talk about how busy I am at the shop and KK works here. So he's as busy, if not busier than I am. So we can do stuff only when we have time. So we got let's some, uh, uh, maybe uh, wipe this woofer down. It's pretty dusty. We got some donations, $2 from uh, Gregory hey, Johnson. Hey, you know what? We'll continue this because I'll put those same frequencies on that box, on that Skeletor box. We'll get this thing moving next. You still got so, some donations coming in. Okay. Well, we'll use those frequencies on the next. One. Well, no, these are these are the regular ones. Okay. Gregory Johnson says been watching since the Fosgate days. He donated two dollars. Oh, all right, right on, right on, right on. Appreciate you, man. If there's any special requests, let me know. Okay, so right now, I am uh, disconnecting the AMM one and disconnecting this eight gauge wire. We'll just use the frequencies right now. Um, we got this is some sky high 10 gauge OFC and it's probably more than 15 feet long. <coughs> and I did this just, just for this reason so I could not have that big ass box all the way up against my bench. So we got some. Two dollar donation from Global Media. Uh, Global Media. All right. It says to offset the cost of the Amazon return scammer. Oh, sh hey, do you know what? Don't worry about that, man. Amazon took care of it, and the donations I got after that, when I made the video, that I'd never even asked for. Some people gave me shit about that for some reason. Oh, Steve's begging for money. I never said a word about anything. I was just ranting because I was pissed. So I never asked for nothing. So I don't even want to bring up the coward's name that was running his mouth because he don't deserve that kind of exposure from me. But yeah, there's some cowardly people out there you running your mouth on the internet for what, for no reason. I mean, I just don't get it. Anyways, we ain't gonna let them take my energy today because I'm having a great day. We got some 10 gauge OFC, sky high speaker wire. I disconnected the eight gauge from this 15. <laughs> oh, and also that one, I believe that's also at two ohms. We can come over here and show them these real quick. It's a little dusty. Um, it's ported. It's on a metal cart, so if it rattles, don't blame me. Blame the cart. Can I move this handle down? Anyways, uh, what we got here is a uh... well, bit. Yeah. Get this dust off. <laughs> we got a SMD terminal cup over here. You can see everything's in series. 
So my choices are half an ohm or two ohms, just like that setup over there. It's just the way it worked out. I've actually got it at uh, one ohm per terminal. So if I want to run both of them, that's my choices. Um, this shop is about to get crazy because the box. <laughs> Yeah, these woofers are no joke, and they're in that box too. So we got some Sundown. Those are Sundown ZV5s, by the way. So what's the first request on the on the um, on the Skeletor box? What do we got here? Turn this amp on. Got any requests for the Skeletor box, KK? Any uh, frequencies? Not yet. Wait for them to come in. Right. Well, we'll start out high. We'll do 45 hertz. You might have to walk over those fasteners and everything in that bin are going to be going crazy, I believe. <laughs> All right, so here's 45 hertz, you guys. Actually, you know what I can yeah, fuck, I'm going to pierce those holes and everything. Um, yeah, we'll play around with this a little bit. So 45 point, let's go straight to 45, it's easy. No requests yet? Scene 36 and 30. Okay. Well, you ready for this? Oh, that ain't the cart. That's my entire building. Do you hear that? Oh, yeah. Go find that, out. That's that's in the, the toolbox. Huh? You can hear all the tools moving in here. What's going on over there? Get just the right angle where you can the light. See it? Yeah. Hey, that ain't good. Hold on a minute. What do you got? 36 hertz, KK? What's uh, next? Um. Hold on. There we go. Is this whole shop? <laughs> <laughs> you hear it? Yeah. I don't know if they can hear it out there in the internet land. I think they can. Does anybody out there have uh, headphones where you can actually hear any of this bass happening? If you have good headset, you'll probably catch some of the bass. So maybe not when it was open air, but now that it's in a box. So what do we got? You said 36 hertz was the next guy? Uh, it's all over the place. Is it? Yeah. Okay, no, uh, no special donation requests? Nah. Okay, so 36 hertz. Things moving over there? Everything is. Oh, that's a little bit. Is that moving yet? Uh no, but everything around you is. Especially in the toolbox. Well, wait until I start getting into some of these lower frequencies too. <laughs> One out. All right, let me scroll up the list here. What have you done already? Uh, 45 and 36. Okay. Uh, we can get those things getting up out of the box. Watch this. Does somebody want to get those things up out of the box? Let me know right now. All right. Let's do 30. 30? Yeah. Okay, we're going to do 30. Ready? Yeah. Different stuff is rattling now. Hold on. Yeah. 
Right, I'm turning this bitch down, man. If you guys don't got no special requests, we'll drop this thing down to 15 hertz. Oh, I can smell it. Whew. Yeah, I think it a little warm. All right. <laughs> Ready? Oh God. Let's do, let's do uh, yeah, we'll do 15 real quick. Everyone's saying, I'm seeing a bunch of 20s. 20s? Yeah. Right, let's do 20. Now, now the box is starting to jump off the cart. Look, it's not even. All right, you guys ready? Here goes 20. Oops, that's why I keep touching the bare metal on this. It does it. All right, here we go. There's 20. Get a little closer to him. Yeah, that's the cart rattling, by the way, you guys. Oh yeah. All right, you guys want to go lower than that? Uh. Man, it's gonna. Same guy, Justin Willie, donated another five. Uh, he said nineteen again. Nineteen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to nineteen, even though we just did twenty. But all right, we'll do, we'll that down to nineteen. What's his name again? Justin. Justin Willie. Shout out to Justin Willie. We're gonna do nineteen hertz. Ready? Here we go. Yep. I can smell it a little bit. Ready? Yep. Remember, that's the cart rattling, you guys, not the box or anything else. Or uh, that, that's the box trying to get up off the cart. Woo! Careful. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Want to get closer to him or what? <laughs> Or should we like drop that down to like 10 or make it closer to it? All right, hey, we have any requests for anything lower than 19? Shout out to 19. Appreciate that, man. That's a good number. <laughs> hey, uh -huh. Sound digital's warming up a little. I can feel the fans turning on. Oh, yeah. All right. All right, let's see. Um. Jason says 10 hertz. 10 hertz? We actually got three donations that are pretty much saying the same thing. 10 hertz? Petrohead said 10 too, but he said don't blow it. <laughs> oh, dude, if I do, man, I'm going to have to use some of this donation money for some new ones. <laughs> and then... Hey, shout out to Sundown. Uh, if I break my whoopers, uh, can I get a deal on some cones? <laughs> Get on. So 10 hertz, is that what we're talking about right now? Oh, my God. This is going to be crazy. So... <laughs> All right, we're backing this down to 10, you guys. So I'll turn it up a little to show you guys what it looks like before I rail on it. Still got people in here? Mm-hmm. All right. All right, here we go. Ready? Yep. Okay. All right, so this is what it looks like. Without going too crazy on the power. Yeah, so these are barely... They're not turned up, they're just moving. I can feel that shaking the ground. All right, ready? Yep. All right, welcome, here we go, you guys. Shout out to Jacob, Sundown, all those guys. I'm only saying that because I need a discount on a recurve if I break them. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Ready? Yeah. Back in business, gotta love it. All right, sound digital for the win. That's getting a little bit warm. Should we move on to something else? Let's walk over to the boneyard and pick a woofer out. And uh, if you guys want to see me torture it, we'll do that for a few minutes before we end this live video. But um, let's see what we got here. This way. Oh, check this out. I got a whole bunch of stuff here from Kicker Car Audio. 
I don't know what any of it is. I think some of it's some swag. But uh, that's going to be a live feed coming up soon, too. I'm going to give all this shit away to you guys. Every single last bit of it. Unless there's an app in here, you can't have that. But I think it doesn't feel like there's anything heavy. It feels like I did open one of them, and I saw some hats and stuff. So oh. um, I know that it's going to be a lot of swag. There's some other stuff here, too. But we'll talk about that later. Uh, let me see. What should we do, man? This bone yard is dirty. There's dust and everything in here. Um... <laughs> I mean, there ain't going to be very many speakers in here that's going to handle that amp. We got some old SMDs, the originals. I got a UFO, a Fi Car Audio UFO 18. These are the first four ever made. Probably see my video. Is this one marked? Is yep. That, yeah, what number is this one? Number four. Yep. 2008, 2009. Yep. Hey, I don't know what to do with these things. I'm not probably not ever going to use them again. Maybe I should sell them or auction them off or something, huh? No. Uh, a lot of people say good things about these. I liked them a lot. For being kind of a weird shape, I liked them a lot. Um, we got I I don't want to pull this SMD out of here. That's old and dusty and it's way back in there. We're not playing around with the SMDs right now anyways. We're going to mess around with some other stuff. We got, uh, we got Stereo Integrity. Um, shit. We got some Scar Audio. That box is empty. I know there's a Scar Audio for here. See, I don't want to break these though because I want to give these away as well. These are coming up. We're going to put these in the gate in the audio box. And we're going to play with those and then we're going to give them away. So let's put, let's see. Got some DC Audio. These are the other two eights. What should we do? What should we do? Let's go back this way. We got this. It's Rockford 19 that we could do, but I don't want to break that either. I love that thing. Look, got the um, first aid kit on the ground. You know we're shaking the shit out of the shop. <laughs> Thought I heard something over here. Um, got here. Is this what I think it is? Oh, okay. I almost feel like we should do this. Old school triple stack. Is that an REMT 15? We got a DC Audio Level 2 signed by Rusty. Let's see. I believe this is an REMT 15. It is. This looks like it's single coil. Okay, so this is one of the spares that goes to Chicken's Towers. And I got another one of his spares down there. We never ever needed them. Actually, you know what? Not for his towers. They're for the, um, uh, for the Rescalade. And that thing does not have a speaker box in it anymore. So, let's do that. Let's hook this up. This is an REMT 15. Or is it a 5BTL triple stack? Okay. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Okay, the single coils are the Phi triple stacks because this is one of Chicken Spares for his towers. This one down here is a spare for the Avalanche or for the, fuck, for the uh, EXT, not the Avalanche, goddammit. it. So this is gonna be an REMT 15. We got people in here still, or are they bored yet? Oh, yeah, we do. Okay, so, look at this brand new, yeah, see, okay, I'm trying to remember, hey, I got a boneyard, man, it's deep. I don't know what all I got in here. So, should we flex this, or should we make this a whole video all of its own? Sure. I don't know, man. I got all these people in here, I think we're just gonna flex it. Brand new, never been used. Let's bring it out here.
All right, how many of you guys out there remember the REMTs? These are SPL woofers. They're not really made for music, but I started bumping them back in the day and got pretty good results. But technically, it's an SPL woofer. Oh, look at that. This thing has never seen the light of day. Look how brand new. It doesn't even have any dust on it. Anybody out there remember it? I don't even know what this is. It's a dual something. Let's see what it is right now. Just to get an idea. I mean, with all the noises in the shop right now, probably going to be a little bit off but okay so it appears this is going to be a dual two so you know what that means if it's dual two this dual two i'm going to put it in, in a parallel and send it to that 12,000 watt amp let it rip should we should we let it rip or should we make a whole new video out of this <laughs> i feel like we should make a whole video out of this Okay, I'm gonna need some speaker wire. Are we getting anybody? You guys want me to do this or should we cut this video off? Everyone's saying blow them up. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> it, send it. Okay, so. Let me use, I got some of these. I'm telling you guys, my favorite wire. It's got a high 10 gauge OFC. It's nice and thick. More than you'll ever need for anything, guaranteed. 8 gauge is fun too. But you don't really need all that. 10 gauge to me is like the perfect little medium in between 12 and 8. Because pretty much 12 gauge is good enough for everything. I would say. But if you want to be over enthusiastic, 10 is a good number. Super overly enthusiastic, 8 gauge. And extreme, 4 gauge, which I've done all of them. It's fun. Nothing wrong with it. Whether or not you need it is the question, but it's still fun. And this thing came with an Allen wrench. It was stuck to the side. I didn't even know that. If I'd have known it had a free Allen wrench involved, I would have opened it a long time ago. It's not in there all the way. I'm telling you, my eyesight's terrible these days. There we go. You guys ever tighten up a wire? You're like, yeah. And then you tug on it and it wasn't even in the hole the whole time. Like, oh shit, thought it was in there. <laughs> yeah, no. We'll do something like this here. So we're going all parallel with this bad boy. So we should be able to put some more watts into it. But again, it's gonna be sitting out in the wide open, so the impedance is a little different. I'm gonna shortchange myself on some of this wire. I hope I can yeah, we'll reach that. Long ass time since I've seen an REMT. Might have to strip those a little bit more. Just so I can couple them up and get them in there.
We just need to stay in there just for this video. You lose everybody yet? No, you got 800. No, 800. <laughs> All right. Okay, so. Oh, yeah. Hey, like I said, my fucking eyesight. Where is my goddamn. Did any of you guys catch what I just did? There, there I go with my terrible eyesight. Those are backwards. But since that wire is all twisted together, I'm just going to switch this side. So the color. Stupid ass. Hey, at least I saw it. God damn. Okay, so as long as they're both the wrong direction, it doesn't really matter when we're talking about AC. See? Everybody thinks that I know it all. I don't know a fucking thing. There we go. That didn't look right. Take this and then one off of that one. Neighbors. Right. I think I got enough room to put these probes directly in. Something. I have no idea. Dang it. Oh, so instead of piercing the wires, I'll just put them in here. It's gotta come out anyways. Got a one dollar donation from Fat Matt five seven five. Fat Matt five seventy five. Thanks, man. Fuck yeah. What are we playing first? Uh, then we're gonna do some frequencies. So. Got four dollars and twenty cents from Never Relax. It says rip it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shout out to Never Relax. We're gonna rip it. We are definitely gonna rip this. Hope I don't break it. It's a classic subwoofer, but. Never know. There's just too much stuff going on in this bench right now, guys. I don't want it all to fall off. Okay. So what I did was I put the probes in the speaker terminals, and then I ran the positive through the front hole. That's all you really got to do. Turn that on. Turn this on. And make sure the volume's down. Turn that up a little so it doesn't go haywire. And turn the amp on. Oh yeah, we did. We did get a donation that's, that was uh, asking for 60 hertz on the sundown. Oh, uh, 60 hertz on the sundown. So we could do it on these. All right, we're good. we'll do 60 hertz on this. And it's not gonna sound like nothing, but we'll do it anyways for you. So who who uh, requested that? Steve Adams. Steve Adams wants to hear 60 hertz. Okay, that's. Not really a subwoofer flex frequency, but we'll do it for you. All 
we go. Yeah, some are saying 55. 55? Yeah. It's going to do the same thing it just did. It's going to make that popping sound probably. Oh, now the requests are coming in. Huh? Now the requests are coming in. What do they want? Give me one that's less than 50. Um, seeing a lot of 30s. Want to see a 30? We'll do a 30. We're going straight to 30. All right, here we go, you guys. Ah, uh, what? You hear that? Ready? Yep. <laughs> hey, you guys saw that pride subwoofer didn't even make any of those noises, but said you, the coil is so close in here, is riding so close that you can barely put a piece of paper in there. This is an SPL sub, so you can bump it, yes, but it really wants to be in a box. I don't know how low it's going to like to be. Matter of fact, you can use the SG and we can find out what it likes to actually play. So we'll do that another time. What do we got now? Who's asking? Hey, buddy. We're gonna do 19. We'll do 19 hertz for the homie that gave me five bucks twice for 19 hertz on the last two whoopers. <laughs> Who was that again? Was that Justin? That was uh, Jay or Justin? All right, well, wherever you are, shout out to 19 hertz. It was Jay Willie. All right. take this thing down to nine hertz then we're gonna shut this video down because this video is getting long yeah we're 50 53 minutes in okay well we're gonna go 10 hertz and then we're gonna shut this down you ready yeah all right 10 hertz you guys hey thanks for joining me on a rainy subwoofer flex day playing around on the bench like i said before i take this sound digital amp off the bench and put it over there i just wanted to play with it a little bit uh, so far, it's going in to protect a couple times. It might again at 10 hertz, but at least it comes back out of it again. All right. <laughs> we'll get, I think we. Uh, I missed this guy's last one. So you sense it again. So this is four dollars now for nine point two hertz. <laughs> okay. From Justin Garcia. Okay, we're gonna do nine. We'll do nine point two. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, I, I can smell oh, yeah. that bad boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what we should do? Huh? Before we end this video, if I get enough likes, I'm just gonna grab a speaker off the shelf and just fucking smoke it. <laughs> it's not gonna be a subwoofer, but I'll grab a speaker and we'll smoke it. Okay, you ready? do. You can do mom's uh, stock. No, no, no. We might need to put that back in someday. Uh, yeah. Okay, so it's 9.2 hertz, you guys. Yeah. 3,200 watts. 3,400 watts at 9 hertz. Yeah. The REMT does not like that. <laughs> All right, well. Oh, that smell, that familiar smell. <laughs> Man, that is... Oil fucking delight. Smell that. Let's uh, should we grab a speaker and just blow it? Yep. Or not? Yep. I mean, are people saying we should blow it? Because if they don't want me to, then I won't. I don't. I don't think people really want you to blow this one. No, it's I don't want to blow that one. But... Legendary, but speaker, yeah. Yeah. There's some garbage gas speakers that somebody sent me a while ago. Petro. Petro. Uh, Petro. Show the brand. 
Petrohead said smoke the DDX and he'll set a replacement. Smoke the DDX? Yeah. The smoke my uh, processor? I'm really not sure. Yeah, DDX, I think that's the processor. Here, we don't need to show the brand because this guy's going to cry, but these are, these are some garbage ass speakers. I don't even want them, so if I don't want them, we'll smoke them. Looks like some flea market shit. I mean, it was nice of the guy to send him, but he's a total dick, so I don't want no part of these garbage ass speakers. All right, we're going to take this thing off. <laughs> You know what speaker it is? Yep. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I just don't care. Okay, let me turn this down. Or turn it up, actually. Okay. Alright, so, there you have it right here. <laughs> what kind of shitty ass terminal? Ah, that's some flea market ass shit. Hold on. I don't even know how I'm gonna get that on there. Maybe I should totally hook it up wrong. Actually, after I get done doing this, maybe I should just blame the speaker. Because some people like to, like on the, on the internet world, some people like to do stuff completely wrong and then blame the product. Like, how stupid can you be? So yeah, what I'll do is I'll put a bunch of power in this thing, and I'll, just, and I'll blame the speaker. Hold on, I'm gonna actually put some nice, terminals on that just for you internet people see if i got one dang as soon as you pulled those swags out it started pouring down pulled what out oh i don't know i never heard of those things <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Um, man it is pouring i'll just use these It's gotta be big enough for the wire. It's not just on a little turbo tab. Some fucking some copper. This is the grand finale. Oh, what did I just do? I'm so stupid. <laughs> I just trimmed the wire on the speaker. I don't want that one. This is the one I want. Oh my god. <laughs> hey man, don't blame me. It ain't my fault. <laughs> Let me get my little crimpers. They were they were talking about the Scar DDX. Oh. Well, you know, I don't really want to smoke that because I want to play with it a little bit and I don't want to give it to somebody so somebody can enjoy it. And I also got some other stuff around here too. So I'm gonna do the proper thing to this speaker, even though it's not a very good speaker. I'll still, I'll still do it proper. I'll give it some nice 10 gauge OFC. Maybe I'll play a higher frequency, or should we do 10 hertz on it? <laughs> we'll do 10 hertz on it, and then we'll blame the speaker when it breaks. Hold on. See you guys. Let's get this REMT out the way. And we'll move into the, what did I do to oh. All right, this is your average everyday Joe flea market. Like, I guess, I don't know, you order this from Alibaba and put your name on it or something like that. I don't know, but we'll smoke it just for fun because I don't care about it. So it's not that it's going to be this speaker's fault. As much of it, as much as it is a junk speaker, it's not going to be the speaker's fault because I don't think it's made to take 10 hertz. We'll start out with a higher frequency, though. Uh, let's see. Someone asked how to get some SMD products. Right. How do you get SMD products? Yep. Uh, WCCarAudio.com, Sky High Car Audio, uh, Down for Sound, um, Sonic Electronics. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, the, I think the crossover, or actually, I'm, I got it plugged straight in, but the crossover on the amp, I don't think is, uh, I'm gonna let that come through right now. The full range amp, though. It's all right, though, we'll stay in the mid range. Did it go that easy? Oh, dude, oh, what yeah. a piece of shit. I didn't even get a chance to... Where's that other one at? Oh, my yeah, God. Hey, that was that piece of what was that? I don't even know. What did I do with the... Oh. All right, let's try that one more time. <laughs> Okay, so this thing is stiff as a board and it didn't, I don't know. It might be my fault, I don't know. Could be. Let's try that one more time. Oh yeah, the amp wouldn't protect too. Let's see how much power this bad boy can take. I think I accidentally put pink noise in it when I was flipping through the menus. I had the volume turned all the way up. That thing couldn't even take it. Are you ready? All right, so this is gonna be the serious question for you guys. I'm gonna put a, a legit frequency through this speaker and I want somebody to pick it, and we're gonna just fucking send this bitch. So, do I have any uh, any votes? I mean, should we start out? Should we start out at? We got low. Did you hear that? You guys hear that? It's sitting on here, so. Any, any uh, we don't have any suggestions? Uh, I'm getting highs and lows, I mean. Highs and lows? Yeah. Yeah, but the lows are gonna look so much better because it's got so much more flex. You guys wanna pop like 25 hertz into this bit? Let's do 20, 20 is a nice number. Okay. 20 <laughs> sound good, and then we'll end this video. Yeah. Is there anybody still watching? Yeah, you got 858. Oh shit. Keep in mind, it's not going to be the speaker's fault because it's not a very good speaker. Yeah, so there's... All right, so we got 60, 60 watts at 5 ohms. This is 20 hertz. Turn it down a little bit. Hold on one second. Oh, it's already smoke. Whoa, 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 whoa. Man, what a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Man, that thing was barely turned on. Man. <laughs> Get that out of there before it fucking. Was that the tweeter that smoked or the speed? I don't even know. Yeah, the tweeter sounds like it's still working, but the. It's fucking garbage. You know, I've played with mid ranges before and I've been able to play with them until they're almost gone and then they still survive and i'm just going through the menus a little bit i'm just going through the menus it wasn't even turned up that loud i know it was 20 hertz but goddamn <laughs> you guys want them go get them they're yours and uh, I think we're out of here. That was fun. Hey, I'm gonna post the slow motion flex of that Pride Whooper a little bit later. Hey, you cut that off. Hey, I appreciate you guys. It was a fun ass day. Don't worry, I'm not a litter buck. There's, there's bums out here. Some bum will pick that up and recycle it. So.
Nice talking to you. Nice having fun with you. Baby, what are you doing? Great stuff. All right, I'm out of here. Shut her off, buddy.